Students, in this video, I will be going through some problems involving the laws of exponents. Uh, in particular, I will be multiplying different expressions together with or without common bases. So let's take a look. Uh, so the instruction here says to simplify, and your answer should contain only positive exponents. All right, let's take a look here. So question two here, uh, I'm asked to multiply this. I notice that um, immediately there is a common uh, expression. There's a there are expressions here with the same base, so I can apply the product rule. Uh, and then there is a coefficient here with a factor of negative three and negative. So then all this will become negative three times negative one. That's positive three. N to the third and N to the fourth. That's N to the seventh. And m to the third, well, that's just m to the third. Nothing can combine with that, so that's my final answer there. Let's take a look at the next one. So I have uh, negative 2 and 2. They can combine together. They will, this will become negative 4. The x's can combine together to make x to the first, because negative 3 plus 4 is x to the first. And then the y's just stay w w uh, the way it is. My answers here, they all have positive exponents, so I don't need to worry about uh, that second half of the instructions there saying your answer should contain only positive exponents. Let's take a look at the next one. So I have four times, uh, so I have this big expression. So I notice that four and negative one, I can combine them together to make negative four. I can combine x to the negative 1 and x to the 4th together to make x to the 3rd, because negative 1 plus 4. And then y to the 4th times y to the negative 1, that becomes y to the 3rd. All right. Next, moving on. Same thing. Negative 3 and 4 makes negative 12. y and y to the fourth makes y to the fifth. x to the third and x to the fourth make x to the seventh. Okay. Negative four and positive two makes negative eight. m to the negative two and m to the negative first, that's m to the negative three. And times n. Now, this is the part where I need to uh, re-express this all in terms of positive exponents, right? Because right now I have a negative exponent there. So what does this turn into? Well, this is equivalent to negative 8n over m to the third. Remember the negative exponent rule? If I have m to the negative 3, this is equivalent to 1 over m to the third. And all of these are, are factors, so I can move factors around, okay? So it's negative 8n over m to the third. Okay. Next. Negative 4 times x to the negative 4 times y to the third times negative x squared. If I multiply negative 4 and negative 1 together, I end up with positive 4 x to the negative 4 and x to the second, that makes x to the negative 2. And y to the third, well, that's just y to the third. And then re-expressing this, this is equivalent to 4y to the third over x squared. Moving on. So 4 and negative 2 makes negative 8. U to the negative 3 and u to the 3rd, that makes u to the 0th, and then v to the 4th. And remember the 0th power rule, right? 0th power is 1, so this is equivalent to negative 8 v to the 4th. Combine like terms, 4 and negative 3 makes negative 12. u and u squared makes u to the 3rd times v.
Combining like terms again, I have x to the fourth, x squared, and x. That makes x to the seventh, right? So it's negative 2, x to the seventh. y squared, y squared makes y to the fourth. Moving on, 3u to the negative 1, u to the 4th, u to the 4th, v to the negative 3, and v to the 4th. So this is equivalent to, right, I'm going to combine 3, negative 3, and negative 2. That makes negative, or positive rather, 19, uh, 18. u to the negative 1, u to the 4th, and u to the 4th makes u to the 7th v to the negative 3 and v to the 4th, that makes v. Next, 3x, y to the negative 2, 4x to the negative 1, y to the 3rd. This is equivalent to 12, right? x to the 1st times x to the negative 1, that's x to the 0th. y to the negative 2 and y to the 3rd, that's y to the 1st. Or this is 12y. Negative 2 and 4 makes negative 8. u to the 2nd and u to the 4th makes u to the 6th. And v to the negative 3, well that's just negative 3. I cannot leave my final answer in, uh, with a negative exponent, so this is the same thing as negative 8. u to the 6th all over... Let me write this a little better. All over v to the positive 3.